Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021, where last time out we had a very profitable winter indeed. We made many millions of Farm Manager monies over winter, so of course when spring arrived we went and spent most of those millions on buying up all of the land we could, to the point where we now own every single bit of land that we can own in the game right now. And it's wonderful to behold, look at this, we own all of this space, it is just marvellous indeed, all of this land is ours and we shall call it this land. But yes, we've got all of this to do with as we please now, which is very nice indeed. So I think what we'll do is, let's start with fruit, shall we? Lovely, healthy, some of your five-a-day fruit, because we set up this little area here last time out. It's got houses and garages and parking spots and storage areas and all that kind of stuff, all to deal with orchards that we're going to set up around this little bit here. Because yes, if all the machines are here, then that means they can reach all the orchards, and then we can grow lots and lots of lovely fruit. And then also, we can get in some fruit processing plants because we don't have any of those yet and I like to have a mixture of things on the farm. I like to have a different range of products that we're able to sell. So yes if we can sell some fruit juice or some jams or whatever that would be quite nice. So let's have a look over here shall we and try and get this all set up. So the first thing we need to do is try and figure out what we do with this space here. Now that sort of dotted line there marks the very edge of our land. We cannot buy or go any further in that direction, unfortunately. So we could have some fields along here. They're not going to be the maximum size of field, but they're still going to be quite big. They will be quite big orchards. So the question is, do we want to do something clever with this space here? Or do we just have a field there, a field there, and a field there? We might want a road, actually. We might want one of the big roads going up the side there just so when people drive in from the city, sort of along this direction on the main road going to the middle of the farm, they can then just go that way and take a bit of a shortcut to over here if they need to. How about we do that? Let's get that in. So a two-way road, and it fits quite nicely toward the edge there. We'll just run that, I don't know, to about there now. That'll do. Okay, splendid. So we have our two-way road in, and now I think what we should do. Yeah, I think we just have a field like that. So that can be one orchard. So that's nice. And then we can have ourselves another orchard just there. There we go. So that's two extra orchards going in. I mean, this is going to produce an awful lot of fruit. It's not going to do anything for absolutely ages, I don't believe, because of course the fruit has to grow. But when we actually harvest this, it's going to generate so much stuff. So then we have the question of what to do here. Do we try and make ourselves another field that's the same as these, that fits into this gap? Do we make a slightly bigger one? And do we have enough things over here? I'm not entirely sure we do. Do you know what we need to do? We need to buy all of the farm stuff over here, don't we? We need to buy all of the tractors and plows and all that kind of stuff that we need over here to then make sure that we can deal with all of these fields. Because the last thing we want to do is designate this as a massive field and then have no room left and then realise that we need extra parking spots. So let's get this sorted. I mean, I don't think we will do. We have plenty of parking over here, ample parking over here. But do you know what? Let's just, let's get the, let's get the vehicles in because it's always fun buying the tractors anyway. So how about in here, there we go, right, buy. And we want to get ourselves the orchard tractors. Of course we do. And then we need the orchard sprayers and the orchard planters. Basically anything to do with orchards we need over here. So uh, yeah, we'll buy ourselves lots of these. Um, hang on a minute. Uh, garage 11 is the one we want. And these things are tiny. They are tiny little things. They take up one square, which is quite nice. So there you go tiny cute little adorable green tractor just there and then we'll do exactly the same again um can we put it in the same one please oh, where's it gone why do they go out of sort of they go out of order right another one there is it worth just filling this up with orchard tractors it might be might be worth it just to have six in there and that will that will hopefully be more than enough um yeah okay let's do that let's buy another three and put them in there i do like them I like how they're just so tiny. They're just so little compared to the tractors. But there we go. Right, let's get another three of these in here. There we go. Six orchard tractors all purchased and all indoors as well. Because, of course, they're in one of the garages with their roof. So they will fall apart slightly less quickly. Okay, right. So now I've got that in. We need all the other orchard stuff. So let's have a look. If we just type in orchard, that should filter things down quite a bit. So orchard sprayers, we might need a few of those around the place. So yeah, let's grab a few of these. Again, it's a shame you can't buy multiples of these. It's a shame you can't say, right, I would like four of these because we are going to need an awful lot of this orchard stuff. So here we go. Right now, where can we put these? I mean, I'm thinking parking 13. That's kind of next door to these, isn't it? So let's buy, I mean, we've got six tractors. 
do we want six of these as well? That would make sense, I think. Let's start with, let's start with three of those. So three orchard sprayers, please. Yeah, we'll have three of those. So buy another one of those. And yo, know, parking, uh, parking is no object. Parking is no object either right now. Money is also no object. Because even though we don't have as much money as we once had, we still have two million farm manager monies, which is quite a lot of money. Okay, and one final bid. Another orchard sprayer down into parking 13. Okay, so three orchard sprayers. We've got the tractors. Now what else do we need? We need the planters. So they can go over there into parking 14. So I think we're going to get... Um, yeah, let's get another three of these, I would say. Let's get another three of those over into parking 14. Oh, these are tiny as well. Um, let's put... Yeah, let's put them over here. That's fine. We're going to need three of these. Um, ah, they're just there. That's quite convenient. Into um, parking 14. And buy that. Orchard planter. Buy it into parking 14. Okay, so there we go. We have ourselves all of the you know, regular orchard maintenance equipment in, but now we need to get other bits and bobs in, don't we? The other farm equipment required to prepare the fields. So yes, we now need to go and get ourselves things like plows and cultivators and manure spreaders and other fun things like that. The only thing is, we are going to have to treat these fields here slightly differently to our, say, regular fields over here. Because over here, we get something out of the field. So we harvest, say, the corn out of here. And then we kind of go over the field again with some of our equipment. So we get the corn out of the ground and then we plow the field. Then we cultivate it and then we fertilize it and then we plant more seeds. That's kind of how that crop works. But over here, all these fields are going to be orchards. They're all going to be trees. So initially, each field will need to be plowed and then cultivated and then have manure put on it. And then we'll plant the trees and that's it. That is it for that particular field. I mean, yes, we need to water them unless we irrigate them and we need to go around and spray them with various things, but we don't need to cultivate them again. We don't need to plow them again. We do not need to put manure on them ever again. We just go in, we look after them a little bit and then we harvest them when the time comes. So yeah, we're going to have ourselves a load of equipment over here, which is going to be relatively redundant at one point. Once all these fields have been dealt with and they've all been plowed, we're not going to need a plow over here ever again. It's just going to sit there and go all rusty. So we might need to move some stuff from here to somewhere else at some point. I mean, right now it's fine. Right now it's okay. But yeah, if we say set up a new, a new kind of big field area, I don't know, down here, for example, we could take some of the farm equipment over in Fruit Town over here, lovely Fruit Town. We could take some of that kit over there and move it to a new place. So yeah, it's going to be, we're going to have a load of kit over here that is going to be sort of one use and that's kind of it. But okay, that's fine. Also, the only thing is, thinking about this, we have ourselves lots of orchard tractors and they're wonderful and they're tiny, green, adorable tractors. The only thing is, they can't pull the big equipment, can they? We might need to get in some proper tractors that can pull the big plows and the big cultivators because these fields are big and it's going to take an awfully long time for one of the orchard tractors to go and sort all them out. It's going to take absolutely ages. So I think we might want to get some of the proper tractors in as well. Hang on a second. Hang on. Uh, let's go to there. Right. So buy. And are we under tools? Yeah, tools. Okay. Right there. So the Rodon plow. Is that the biggest plow we can have? Hang on, let us, let's search for plow. Um, no, there. Oh, plow. Oh, it's just a work. Oh, I thought it was a UGH, but no, it's just a plow. Um, so yeah, we've got that plow, one by two. That plow is also one by two. That one looks bigger, however. That one looks bigger and it fits onto the blue Etos tractor. Okay, so color coordinated. I like that. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to need to buy, I think, a couple of the Etos tractors and a couple of the big plows and a couple of the big cultivators as well. I think we need to get them in right now. Okay, that's fine, right. Let's get us a plow that can go into parking 16 because why not? So we'll have one of those and we'll buy ourselves another one of those, please, into parking 16, thank you very much. And then in here, we're going to need to buy ourselves some proper tractors. There you go, Etos tractors into whatever garage that is, garage number 10. These things are quite big. So we'll buy, do you know what? We'll buy three. We'll buy three. We want to get all these things in as soon as possible. So here we go. Well, hang on, garage 10. There we go. Pop you into there. It is a shame that when you go into a garage and click buy, it doesn't default to you putting that particular vehicle in that garage. That's a bit of a shame. Right, okay, there we go. So yeah, Etos tractor, buy that. I mean, yeah, you have to kind of scroll down. It flies you around the map quite a bit. But there we go, garage 10. So three of those, got two of those in. 
And then, yes, we want to get ourselves the big um, the big cultivator things, don't we? They were the, the Rodon ones, were they? I've probably gone right past it. Hang on. That one there. That one there. That's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, two by three. Those things are huge. Work width of eight. That's it. That's what we want to look at. Work width of eight. Yeah. Okay, so we want some of those. So how about that goes into um, parking 16 as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot these things are completely gargantuan. There we go. And one might have to go into parking 15 as well. Because yeah, they are, they're quite big. Right, that one there. Grab that into parking 15, please. And turn it around. And there we go. Right, so we should have some very basic things in here now. So we've got tractors, we can plow the plow the ground, we can cultivate it. Right, then we're going to need manure spreaders. Okay, so how about we put some of those? We can probably fit a couple into there, maybe one into there. So manure spreader, hang on. Man, manure spreader, there we go. So one of those can go into whatever that parking thing is just there. Is that parking 16? Yes. Okay, so that can fit into there. And then we're probably going to need at least another one, I would have thought just to get everything set up over here. And that can go into parking 15 at the back. Okay, right, there we go. So we should have enough equipment over here to get things moving. Now I think what we need to do is get some actual people over here. So let's go into here. Let's hire somebody who's good at working with trees because that's kind of what we're all about over here. So yeah, orchards, orchards and machines. <gasps> orchards and machines, Lola Bates and Nathan Reed, you two are completely perfect. Yes, in you come. Be good at machines, be good at orchards, be good at both of those things. And Nathan, become better at all the things. Just, you know, pour knowledge into your mind. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Okay, and then we have ourselves seasonal workers as well. Right, I think... We have some people over here that can do some stuff. So now we need to determine what we want to do with the fields. Because we have got a lot of fields that we need to set up. My goodness me. So let's go. We also do have the question of what we do here. Uh, let's get let's get a road. Let's get a road cutting through to the end there. Just to make driving a little bit easier through here. Like that. And then um, over here. How big can we have another field? How big can that be? Like that. So that's what, 100 by 92. So it's not quite maximum size, but it's not far off. So yeah, okay, we'll have another field there and then we'll have another road running down here. And then over here, we can put storage and other bits and bobs over here if we need to. If not, we'll just put some nice things over here. I suppose we could have the factories over here if it came to it. I don't know, but whatever the case, we now have a lot of fields that we want to, that we want to grow things in. So let's have a look. Right, massive gigantic field number one. What do we want in here? I mean, I'm just thinking we go basics. We've got apples and we've got apricots. So that one can be apples. And that one there can be apricots. Hang on, was that organic? Yes, okay, bio stuff. And then over here, let's tick the bio again. Um, yes, what else do we want? So cherries, again, that's good. And we could start freezing those as another thing that we could sell. Because yes, you can freeze the cherries in one of the frozen food factories. So that might be quite nice. We'll have some frozen cherries. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. What do we make in there? So it looks like apple juice and cherry juice. And then we've got ourselves a number of different jam type things. Um, and there's berries, there's blackberries, there's dried apricots by the look of it. And I can't quite tell what some of those things are. Right, hang on a minute, hang on. Uh, can we buy in? What if we wanted to buy jams? There we go. What's that? Gooseberries. Okay, these are things that all grow on bushes rather than in orchards. So yeah, we don't want to get those in. I have a, another plan for those. This is going to be all orchards. Loads of trees along here. That's what we want. Um, okay, do you know what? That's fine. Let's just put some more things in, shall we? So let's have a scroll down. We've got cherries. Um, what else can we grow? What other fruit is there? I don't think there's that much is that grows on the trees. We've got plums. So yeah, okay, we'll have plums. And then just there we'll have... Okay, let's go down to where plums were. So we've got those. Poppies, pumpkins, raspberries. I think they're all the ones that... They're all the fruits that grow on a tree. So let's just have... How about we just have a load of plums going down here? Plums there. And just here. Bio. Pluff a plum. And there. Right. So they're done. So that's all plums. Oh, hang on a minute. Can we irrigate those? I think we've irrigated some of these, haven't we? We've not irrigated all of them. 
that's not irrigated. 84 grand, yeah, why not? This one, 92 grand, yeah, go for it, absolutely. That one there, that needs irrigating, 84 grand, yep, yeah, you've got it, sorted. Right, so all those ones are done. So plums, 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 cherries, apricots, apples. Then we'll have ourselves just some more apples, just apples there and apples there. And then we'll have, how about apricots and apricots there and there, just to make it look a bit different, to give it a bit of a nice visual aesthetic with all the different plants growing, all the different trees and such. And then over here, what are we not growing? We're not growing many pears over here, are we? So let's get some pears in as well. There we go. Right, so all those fields are now in. So now we should, because time is now moving on finally. I know it's been a while, but we're moving time on. We should see some people spring into life over here. Eventually. At some point. Anybody? Anybody want to go and do any work? Nope, nothing happening at all. That's complaining about a lack of people. But that's fine. That's okay, right? That's going on about a lack of equipment. Um, no machine. A plow. There are plows. There's plows just there. There are many plows. Right, hang on a minute. Right. I've only got two. It's the two people that are going out. So they're going to go and grab the plows. Right, so they're going to go and plow. And then they're going to go and do the cultivating. Right, yeah, this is going to take... <laughs> that's going to take a long time to do all of those fields. It's going to take a very very long time indeed. Okay, fine. I mean, how many have they got to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, to eleven fields. Right, we might need another person. Is there somebody good at orchards and machines? That would be perfect. Come on, somebody else. Orchards manufacturing, machines manufacturing, boo. Um, you, orchards. You're good at orchards. You can come in over here. The machines might wear down a little bit quicker with you in charge, but that's fine. And whilst all that is underway over there, let's see if we can't employ some more people over here to go and work in our factories. Because of course, yes, they all have at least one person working in them, but some of them, that's all there is. So for example, Isla Hamilton there is running around this entire massive factory on her own, trying to make it work. She's running around, pressing all the buttons, switching things on and off, packaging things up, filling in forms, doing health and safety checks. So yeah, she could do with a little bit of help, I would say. So that's full. That's full. There's only three people in there. So who is good at manufacturing? One person. Jessica Nelson. Okay, in you come, Jessica. It's better than no people at all. So uh, right, where do you want you to go? I think all of the ones on that side are done, aren't they? Every single one on this side is is you know, up to up to full operating sort of parameters. So that one's fine. That one is not. Okay, in you go. Go and help out down there, please. Oh, we need some more people that are good at manufacturing. Hang on, hang on. That looked like something changed. Ah, the month went by, of course, because yes, we paid out all of our sort of maintenance stuff. Are there people good at manufacturing? No, that hasn't refreshed, boo. <laughs> I thought maybe. Maybe that might have refreshed everything, but uh, but no, clearly not. That was not the case. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We'll have to wait a little while. How is it looking over here? That looks very nice. So yeah, loads of trees over here. Many, many trees. And then over here, I was thinking we could have... Get rid of this. Take apart the old rubbishy farm. Although they do have some... Um, they have got some wind turbines. There are three of them over there. We could relocate those over in our proper wind turbine place over there if you can just about make it out there's a few of them there that would be quite good that would be quite good if we could move them over can we move things i'm not entirely sure we can i don't think we can move things can we we can renovate it for a load of money or we could just take everything apart we'll just take all of that apart but yes over here up in this corner and maybe going all the way down here maybe sort of filling up this entire corner of the farm we could have Lots of fields of things like um, gooseberries and raspberries and strawberries and things. So fruit, but that grows out of bushes rather than on trees kind of thing. That's what I think we should do. And our training is done and I need to press the right button. That would help. Right, down to here. So that was that one, wasn't it? Workshop on production management number two. Rate of production is now up by 15%. So our factories and things are working 15% above normal, which is wonderful. So an extra 5% on what they were before that training finished. So now we don't have that much don't have that much sort of training left to do. Most of it's down here. We could we could just go up to staff management training three and get 500 staff, a maximum capacity of 500 staff. But this would also not go amiss. Workshop for fruit growers. 
increases the fruit harvest by 10%. That would also be quite good. 60 days, 6 grand. Let's do that. There we go. Right, so we're going we're going all in on the fruit. Much fruit is going to happen around here, which is fine. Right, so yeah, they are, there is a problem with, yeah, it's a lack of people. Yes, it's a definite lack of people around here. So, right, hang on a minute. Is there anybody good at working with orchards? Orchards, right, you're just orchards. Your orchards, ah, you're manufacturing. Okay, right, we'll have Jacob Owen and we will have uh, Arva Page. You can come in, so that's fine. So you can be good at working in orchards and uh, hang on in there. You can learn how to work well in orchards. Okay, so that's good. So more people over here dealing with orchards and then we have ourselves some manufacturing people over here. It might only be the one, but one is better than none at all. Um, in fact, there's three. Oh my goodness me. Yes, we will have all three of you people come in. Absolutely right. So uh, become good at manufacturing. Oh, no, you're good at orchards and manufacturing. No, it's fine. We need more manufacturing people. We need more of those. They seem to be scarce. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I just gave you a point in orchards. There you go. Consider it a treat or a present or something. Uh, right. Harvey Nichols. <laughs> wow, Harvey Nicks works for us. That's brilliant. Right, okay. So you over here, Hugo Wallace, Jack Allen can work in there. So that is another factory running at maximum capacity. So then that one's done. That one is not done. Okay, so you, uh, where are you? Harvey Nicks, go and work in there. Wonderful. Who'd have thought the Harvey Nicks would be over here at our lovely little farm? Splendid. Right, how are things looking over here? We've got the extra people. We have the seasonal workers in, who I don't think are doing very much right now. I don't think they're doing very much at all. Over here we could, hang on, hang on. To make this even more of a lovely, a lovely kind of fruit town, why don't we get in, uh, where are they? There, a big greenhouse. I think that's perfect. That size is perfect. We could just have loads of big greenhouses along here and that gives our seasonal workers something to do. Because at the moment we're employing 24 seasonal workers who are doing absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> we're paying money for them to just sit about and you know, use our Wi-Fi and look out of the window at the rain and stuff. So maybe we should just get a load of greenhouses along here. And then that at least gives them something to do. Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. And then that's more fruit. That is more lovely, lovely fruit. Right. One, two, three, four. This is brilliant. Five, six, seven. We can't fit an eighth in over there, but never mind. That's fine. That's a lot of greenhouses going in. And yeah, more tractors driving back. So hopefully, yeah, we should start what we're we doing on some of these fields. Are any of them cultivated yet? No. No, they are not. And there are still quite a few more. <gasps> Somebody's out there in one of the orchard tractors, very diligently just working away, getting this field sorted. Do you know what? Well done, you. Well done. That's very, very impressive. I suppose, actually, I suppose, if we think about this logically, we might as well have a few of the little plows, because we have got a number of people probably just sitting about doing nothing at all. So if we have a couple of the little plows, somebody could at least go and work on a field with the orchard tractors. Might take them a bit longer, but at least it would be underway, wouldn't it? Um, let's do that. Over here, parking 14, a little plow. It can pull that. Yeah, there we go. So the tractor, the auto tractors can pull the little plows um, into 14, please. So one just there and buy another little plow into 14. There we go. Right, so now is anybody going to rush out and do any work on that? I don't know, but is there anybody good at working with trees, uh, orchards and endurance? Yeah, okay. In you come. Welcome aboard, Maya Hamilton. Good at working with trees. Uh, if you want to run out and get in a tractor and do some tractoring, that would be grand. There you go. Is that you? Is that you? Maya Hamilton, is that you? Yes, it is. There we go. You're going to go and do some tractoring. You're picking up a plough. Yeah, good job. It makes sense. We might as well get something done with the fields rather than nothing, even if it does take a little bit longer. We're going to have a bit of space just here. I think we need to kind of tidy this up a little bit. So how about we have ourselves that road coming down here like that and then it can meet or oh, hang on hang on bring it over then it can meet that bit of road like that there we go so that can go round and now i think in here we have ourselves another little orchard because you know why not let's go crazy for the orchards so we'll have ourselves an orchard like that i mean that's not small that's not a tiny orchard that that's quite big so right run a road down the side and then in here let's have 
I don't know, we didn't have that many pears last time, did we? So let's have some pears, shall we? Let's get some pears growing because yeah, they're nice, organic pears, very lovely. And then yeah, we have a little bit of space here. Not entirely sure what to do with this space here either. I mean, there's plenty of warehouses along there. There's a bit of a gap here as well. I mean, we might need to put some more worker houses along here to get enough you know, workers over in the factories. So maybe, but they could go there, couldn't they? Hang on, hang on. How about then? Right, paved road. Again, does that cut nicely along there? Oh, it does. That's perfect. Do you know what we're going to have in here, everybody? A field with trees in it. Yay for another orchard. And in here, let's have... Um, I don't know. What can we have in here? What what do we reckon we produce less of? I'm not entirely sure. But we want it orchardy. So let's have... Um, I don't know. Apricots. That'll do. There we go. That'll look nice over there. And then a little bit of space there in case we need some more storage. And then a bit of a gap just here for possibly more workhouses or whatever. And that fills that up quite nicely. That sort of looks a bit tidier with that there now. And look at this. Lots of our fields are looking very good. A lot of them have been cultivated now, which is wonderful. Can we get two more people in that are good at working with trees? Um, orchards? Orchards. Yep. Yeah. In you come, you two. Good job. You can learn more about trees. Do you know what? Learn more about beekeeping as well. There you go, because why not, eh? And Reggie Whitehead, up you go. Orchards. Okay, oh, hang on. We could also have a road running down there. There we go. Right, that sorts that out quite nicely indeed. How are we doing over here for people that work in here? Right, we need one more person that might be good at jabbing buns. Nobody. Nobody good at manufacturing. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay. I mean, I kind of feel like we're cornering the market on that. I kind of feel like we've got many, many people working in manufacturing over here. But, uh, but yeah, we are... Do you know what? We possibly are going to need that staff boost at some point soon, aren't we? 276 staff we've got right now. We can have 300, I believe. So we're going to need another two there. Hang on. So that's fully done. So we're going to need, hang on, two there. Plus, plus another three. Maths with pen. So five. Keep that in mind, everybody. Five. So that's eight. Um, where are we? That's eight. That's 11. That's 12. That's 13. That's 15. We need 15 more people to sort out all of this over here. So that's going to take us to, hang on a minute, 200, 250, 291 people. So once all these factories are fully staffed, we're going to have capacity for nine more people on the farm. And then we need to get that research in. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not going to be good, is it? That's not going to be good at all. So yes, we could possibly have done with getting that research in rather than the fruit research. Never mind. It is what it is. It's underway. I mean, 35 days until we get more fruit out of things. I mean, that's lovely. That's lovely. Who doesn't love a lovely, crisp, fresh apple? And now we can produce 10% more of them. Or we will do in 34 days anyway. Oh my goodness me. I completely forgot about these fields last time out. I completely forgot. Yeah, we're sorting these out, aren't we? We're going to have ourselves new things growing in here. So we're going to need more sunflowers, even more sunflowers. And then also even more carrots as well. So I think was the plan we discussed this at the end of the last part. And I've been to sleep multiple times since that. So um, right, hang on. Let's see if I can remember what we're going to do. That was going to be, that was going to be organic sunflowers, wasn't it? Lovely organic sunflowers. And then, were we going to grow something else down here? I think that was carrots and that was carrots, wasn't it? So I think that was, they were both going to be organic carrots, just to supply the, um, the carrot juice fat. And then, I think, hang on, so more carrots, so organic carrot seeds, yes please. And then just here, what were we going to put just here? Was it more sunflowers? Because we seem to have gone through them at a great rate. Maybe just more sunflowers, because the animals eat them as well. So let's go for sunflowers. There we go. Lovely organic sunflower seeds. So carrots and sunflowers down here. And there. And there. Many, many carrots and sunflowers. And there we go. Now they actually know what they've got to grow in there. The actual little symbols are appearing saying, yeah, we're on it, but we haven't got enough farm equipment or people or whatever. Okay, that is very good. Look at that. No sunflowers, no organic carrots. We've got to buy them in. That costs us money. Oh my goodness me. We're just a bit short of it. We've already got four and a half million farm manager monies now. Ah, what's that? No machines, no machines. Okay, right. That must be over here. They must just be running out of machines over here to get all this sorted. But, you know, we're getting there slowly but surely. Are you, are you planting? <gasps> You're planting. One of our fields is almost done. We've got ourselves the apricot field over here, right in the corner. It's almost finished. Oh, this is wonderful. 
This is great stuff. Here we go. Put some more of those in. How does that work? Is there a person? There were people, weren't there? I remember this from Farm Manager 2018. Yeah, there's little people. There are little tiny people. Hang on a minute. If we go into photo mode, we can zoom in a bit closer. Whoa, that was a bit of extreme close-up. Yeah, look, they sit in the back. They just sit in the back and then I think, yeah, they just sort of push the trees. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know how this works. Is there like a hole, like a delivery chute for the tree? The little sort of tree sapling. So, because they're sort of sat in the middle, which would imply that they grab like a sapling from these baskets here. And then when they're at the right point, they kind of deliver the tree through a hole in this kind of mechanism here. And then it kind of sticks in the ground. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Whatever the case, we've almost got our first fruit field done over here in the new bit. And there we go. <laughs> and the tractor just leaves them behind, does it? You could have given them a lift back home. They were sat on the back of it anyway. Now what do they do? They're just standing there looking sad. <laughs> trying to hitch a lift. I think you two, are you seasonal workers as well? Are you seasonal workers? Yeah, you're seasonal people. You're probably very unimpressed that you've just been left there by what I assume is one of our full-time employees. Oh dear me. Okay, but look at that. This is looking great over here now. All the fields, I think, yeah, they're all cultivated or being cultivated. So that one is almost done. That one has only just started. But yeah, with that done, now I imagine we'll see more sort of, you know, plants going in. We'll see more plants. Is that going in? Yep, there we go. Look, they're putting the uh, putting the nice little sort of the baby trees over here in that field. Okay, it's all coming together quite nicely. They're getting there. Oh, and over here, they're working on this as well. This is wonderful. This is very good indeed. Oh my goodness me, a bajillion errors have just appeared. <laughs> Hang on. No warehouse, fish farm six. No where what? You don't have the right warehouse or site for resources nearby. Cow's milk organic. Ah, I suspect maybe we have too much organic cow's milk and it's filling up all of our all of our storage areas. Yeah, we're over capacity. Right, hang on a minute. What we could do is, I don't think we need three hundred and seventy three thousand liters of organic cow's milk unless we want to form ourselves a brand new ocean. So I think what we do is, let's set up an auto selling thing. Let's press the right button and set up an auto selling thing for, hang on. So cows, we might already have some of this. No, there it is. So organic cow's milk, sell above. I mean, this is a ridiculous number, but sell above 100,000 units of that. Is that right? Yeah, 100,000. So yes, sell above that. And that should free up an awful lot of space in our storages when that goes away. I mean, right now, the game is having an absolute tantrum. There you go. It's freed up. So we just sold loads of stuff. We've got, <laughs> we went up to seven and a half million farm manager monies. That's very silly. But um, there we go. We freed that up. And um, yeah, we shouldn't see that going above 100,000 anymore. If it does, it will come rapidly down to 100,000. I mean, yeah, there you go. It's just gone over. And then it goes back down again. So that's going to generate so much money. And there's still plenty left over to go and work in all of these sort of dairy faz over there. So that's looking wonderful. What is the complaint over here? It's just farm equipment. That's absolutely fine. No worries with that. And then over here, can we find one more person that's good at manufacturing? Yes. Oh, there's quite a few manufacturing people. Yes, you can come in. That's the last person we can fit in that house. So you can go and work over there, please. And then we've got some room over here, I believe. So that house is full. That house is full. That house has got room for two more people. So two more people, manufacturing, manufacturing. Uh, yes and yes. Okay, so you two come in. Uh, manufacturing, very good. And which house were you in? You were in the end house. Yes, uh, you. Manufacturing. Okay, you probably want to work down here somewhere, I would have thought. Ah, well, there we go. Let's get that place sorted. So that can then be working at full capacity. And then over here, you can go and work over there. Splendid. Okay, and now we need some more worker houses because we've used up all of these. That's full, that's full, that's full. And I believe those are full as well. Okay, right. A couple of extra worker houses are required. Oh my goodness me. Right, so another eight there. And another eight just there. Oh, hang on. Just there or two. There we go. Right, get those built. And then we'll try and get more people in that are good at making stuff. There's actually three more people that are good at manufacturing. Uh, yes, yes, and yes. All of you can come in, please. Because, yeah, we need all of the people available who can actually make stuff. So, yep, yeah, okay, we've seen this before. Many, many manufacturing points going in. Okay, that's good. Right, so 
let's get this one down here done. So you and you. So that's another factory now running at full capacity. And then, um, yeah, what have we got to sort out then? Uh, oh, hang on. Yeah, over there. But that could be, we should really, if you're working here, you want to live in that house there. So uh, yeah, let's put you in here then. So there you go. Splendid. Welcome aboard. Right, many people. How are we doing over here? That's got trees in. Over here has got trees in, which is wonderful. That is good. Where else has got trees in? That's got trees. That's being sprayed as well. Wow. Good job, everybody. That's very efficient. That's got trees. That hasn't got trees. That one's got trees. Oh, this is wonderful. That's got trees. They're being planted. I think they're being planted. And again, the people who've done all the hard, yeah, the actual hard work have been left abandoned on the side of the road. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good job. Um, yes, manure is going down on there. This is going very well. This is wonderful. It's taken us a while to get there, but it's looking very good. Um, yeah, we've got ourselves stuff growing over there. And how are they looking over here? They are slowly but surely getting things done. This field here is feeling a little bit unloved right now, I think. Complaining about a lack of a lack of farm equipment. I imagine that's just because it's in use everywhere else. It's just in demand. Um, yeah, that's fine. Do you know what? Let's have ourselves a paved road running right down there just to make life a little bit easier for people. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Okay, yeah, we want someone to get into there, but has that got anything in it? They are cultivating. Okay, yeah, so they're busy working on these as well. And then, yes, over here is looking wonderful. I mean, it's not going to be too long until work stops over here. They're going to be not doing the cultivating and the manure spread, and they'll be spraying, and that's fine. I think that's what they're waiting for over here, is it? Yeah, sprays. That is the anti-insect spray. Okay, this is good. Oh yeah, greenhouses. Sort of forgot about these. Right, seasonal workers, get ready to actually do some stuff. However, yes, we will irrigate all of these because that stops you having to uh, do all that kind of stuff. So there we go. Let's just do this. Don't care about the money. I think we've got enough. 8.8 <laughs> million, nearly 9 million farm manager monies. I think we'll muddle through. Right, okay. So over here, let's have... What do we have in here then? What haven't we got? I mean, we want fruit. We want fruit over here. So, um, all right, we'll have, let's go through. We'll just go through. We have many of these. So, right, black currant in that one. And over here, um, gooseberries in that one. Why not? And then over here, let's scroll down. Uh, peas, pumpkins. I mean, pumpkins are a fruit. Pumpkins are a fruit, are they not? Now I don't know. Now I'm questioning my own statement there. Are pumpkins a fruit? Hang on, hang on. I need to go to the internet and check if a pumpkin's a fruit. I mean, whilst I'm searching, I think a pumpkin's a fruit because the seeds are on the inside. That kind of defines a fruit, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I think it does. I'm pretty sure a pumpkin is a fruit. So um, yeah, a pumpkin from a botanist perspective is a fruit. Yes, okay, that'll do the job. We'll have some pumpkins, please. There you go, very nice. Well, right, that's in there. And then in here, we'll have, oh, hang on, were they bio pumpkins? Um, we'll have ourselves some raspberries. Were they bio pumpkins? Yes. Oh, we missed one out just there. Okay, never mind. Right, so that was raspberries. We've got strawberries. What about watermelons? Grow some watermelons. That's fun. Then raspberries. Then we'll have bio, what else can we get? Bio tomatoes? That, that sounds nice. And then over here, we will have. The final thing, what should we have growing in our greenhouses? I mean, we could just have strawberries, couldn't we? We could have strawberries. That would not be a bad thing. Everyone likes a nice strawberry. Strawberries and cream, delicious. Yeah, all right, we'll have that, please. And now we should, I imagine, see all the seasonal workers pouring out and actually doing some stuff. There we go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> the army of seasonal workers has come forth. Okay, that's very good to see. Right, all very busily working away in there. None of these are nagging for, you know, nagging for assistance with uh, staff or anything. So it looks like that amount of seasonal workers in there is a good fit for the amount of greenhouses here. Okay, this is very good. This is very good stuff indeed. Uh, how are we looking for storage? Yep, storage is looking absolutely fine. What are the complaints over here? Just farm equipment again. Again, we'll, we'll be seeing that quite a lot until all of this is sorted and everything's been sprayed and what have you. Okay, so our workshop for fruit growers training has completed, which means that when we actually harvest fruit, we're going to get 10% more, which is no bad thing at all because, you know, fruit makes a lot of money. So that's good. And now I think we need to do this. Staff management training three allows us to hire up to 500 staff. 
because yes, we are going to cap out at 300 staff in the very near future. So you yeah, having an extra 200 is not going to be a bad thing. It's 50 grand, which you know, normally you might think, oh, that's quite a lot. But I think we've got about 9 million money. So that's okay. 90 days, however, that's quite a long time. That is quite a long time to wait. But never mind, we just have to sort of be patient. I was thinking... I was thinking. So this is where all our fruit grows. And it's fine. Lovely orchards, lots of lovely trees. It's going to look very pretty. It's going to look marvellous. But the fruit is going to be over here. And I was thinking, okay, over here, maybe here we put the fruit factories or whatever. But because we share storage, we don't need to put the fruit factories near to where the fruit goes. So they come over here, they gather all the fruit, they put it into storage over, say, here, they put it into there. And then we can get the fruit out magically via teleportation over here, for example. So we could just here have a load of fruit factories going along here, which would be very exciting. So we've got ourselves the dairy faz, and then we can have some fruit processing faz along here as well, which I think sounds like a good idea. I'm very tempted to just put one in just to see what they look like and what they can sort of do. Because, yeah, we can't really get a good when you have this here. You can't really see what it's doing. It says produces and it scrolls past that, those ones at the top, which I assume are juices. But it's like apple juice and cherry juice. But yeah, you can't see what those other things really are. I mean, they're jams and dried kind of fruits of some description, dried apricots and dried blackberries, possibly. Um, so yeah, I think we'll put one down. I think we'll just put one down. And this can be our sort of, this can be our factory hub over here. And we could have lots of people over here living in little houses over here. And then, yeah, there can just be loads of factories over here. So this can be the kind of the main industrial kind of bit. We'll keep the frozen food factories over this way. That can be their domain over here. So this can be, you know, the, the chilly area. That can be where all the chilling happens. And over here, we can just make lots of other lovely things. So, yeah, let's get one of those in, shall we? Hang on a minute. Hang on. How are we for power over there? No, that's looking good. That's looking good. So let's just get one of these in. Fruit processing plant. They look about the same size. Yeah, they're the same size as the um, as the dairy faz. So let's just put one of those in uh, there, like that. That'll do the job. Drop one of those in. In fact, they might be a tiny bit bigger. They might be one square wider, possibly. I think they might be a tiny bit wider, but okay, that's fine. Right, and then a paved road. Bring that along there like that. And then can we bring that around like so, if we get it in a line? And connect no not there game not there paved road from there to there wonderful okay there we go and yeah that's under construction so we can see what it's doing oh hang on a minute we need to is there anybody good at manufacturing um oh five people oh my goodness me game you are spoiling us yes five people good at manufacturing hang on let's go and level all these people up okay so everybody is now very good at making stuff and jabbing buttons on machines that make stuff so let's actually issue these people out so we need one person in there so uh yep thomas white you can go in there and that one is now fully staffed that one's sorted right we need three more people in here which i think we can do so yes manufacturing yes manufacturing yes manufacturing and do we have one person spare that I see just there? Have we got a person spare? Surely not. Surely we don't have a person just idly sitting around waiting to go make some stuff. Yes, we do. Tyler Williamson. Okay, in you go, Tyler. I didn't think we had an extra person, but... Okay, so now I think all we need to get the dairy faz up and running are four more people. And that's it. Just a quick check on these. Yes, they're all up to, up to speed. Okay, wonderful stuff. Right, let's take a look at this then. Let's wait until this is done. I don't think it's going to take that long until it's finished. And there we go, it's done. Our very first fruit processing factory is in. So let's take a quick look at what they can actually make. So what can they do? They can make apple juice. Obviously, we'll go for the organic variant. So organic apple juice, uh, organic cherry juice. That makes quite a bit of money, does the organic cherry juice. We can uh, make some lovely, lovely strawberry jam. Doesn't make that much money, but I do like the idea of it. We can make raspberry jam, which is very nice. We can make blackcurrant jam, which I'll admit I'm not too big a fan of. And we can make ourselves gooseberry jam. Again, not too big a fan. And then we can make, ah, dried plums. 206 grand per month on dried plums, really? Or 192 grand on dried apricots. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. So we can make a great variety of things. Again, I'd like to try and make a, a good deal of different things. So maybe we should make, yes, the things that make the most money, but also jams, 
jams to go on your toast in the morning sound very nice. Do you know what? We've got 11 and a half million money. We're not going to get anything done with these for a while, but let's just get them constructed. Let's put them you know, in situ. Just get a few of these in. So uh, there we go. What's that? Another four of those. We'll have five fruit processing factories, which will be sitting there for a while because they're not going to do much for you know, a good long time. But at least they're in. And yes, we'll pay maintenance on them. But the maintenance is, what is that? 1,411 farm manager monies per month. We've got almost 11 million. So that doesn't really matter. So yes, we will be wasting a bit of money on maintaining these empty buildings. But I think we can just about foot the bill. And I think all of these fields here have trees in. Our little orchard area is looking very good indeed. So yeah, they've got trees in. What's the nagging message over there? They're waiting for... Yeah, okay. They're waiting to be sprayed with antifungal stuff. That's fine. That is waiting for... I don't know what that's waiting for. Something or other. I don't know. Oh, there's no orchard sprayer. Again, so it's just now down to it's now down to equipment. And over here, they are what are they waiting for? What are you waiting for? The Oh, there's nothing in this field. Ah, okay. There's no warehouse. There's no warehouse. Okay. What do you mean there's no warehouse? There should be plenty of warehouses nearby. There's a warehouse there, and there's a warehouse. Oh! Is there not a warehouse near enough to this field where they can go and retrieve the um, the seeds from or whatever? Ah, bother. Okay, that's somewhat unfortunate. Okay, hang on a minute. Warehouse. Yeah, let's put one on this corner here because that might be useful anyway. We'll pop one just there. There we go. Right, warehouse is on its way. Hang on a second, field. Sorry, I forgot about you. Okay, we can see them building the warehouse over in the distance there. Is it nearly complete? I think it's complete. Oh, it has no power. Of course it doesn't. Nothing ever has power around here. Right, hang on a minute. Um, transformer, uh, robot in disguise, connect to that thing. Sorted. Right, does that now sorted that out? Yes, okay. So this field of plums here will eventually be, um, be sorted out. Oh, hang on. Are they waiting for the... Oh, no, it's fertilised. Right, yeah, they're just waiting to get the actual seeds or saplings or whatever to put down into the field. It is a... It's miserable at the minute in Farm Manager. It's currently... What is it? The uh, the 8th of July, and it's miserable. It's raining and terrible and all sorts. Some of the fields here are fully done. So this field here is up and running. That is it. It's been fully sprayed. It is now just growing apricots, which is wonderful. This one here, again, the same, growing pears. This one here, the same, apricots. Has that one been fully sprayed? Yes, it has. That one has as well. This one, I think, has just been sprayed and they've just finished doing that one. So that's good. That one hasn't been sprayed yet, but there is somebody on the way. And that one is being sprayed now. So yeah, it's looking great. This is looking very good indeed. So yeah, very soon, all of these fields are going to be sorted. So we don't need all these plows and things anymore. We don't need the plows. We don't need the manure spreaders. They can go somewhere else. I mean, maybe... Maybe if we're going to come over here and build a lovely great big area of fruits that grow on bushes, like, you know, your strawberries and your raspberries and all that kind of stuff, maybe we could just move those things over here, have ourselves another little kind of hub area like that over here, replicate that, and then have all of those things over there. That would make sense. And it could spread all the way down here. That would be wonderful. If we could get that in, that would be splendid. But, uh, but you know what? That's fine right now. It's fine right now. There's no rush to move those things. It's not like they're completely falling apart. 97% condition, that thing. It is not going to fall apart anytime soon. We've got a couple more people that can work in manufacturing. So yeah, let's get that place sorted. So yes, we'll maximise that one. So Dylan Long can go and work in there. And then over here, nobody... Oh no, so I tell a lie. Somebody does work there. Louis Hutchinson. Okay, so let's get another person here. So Harry Hill. <laughs> Harry Hill can go work in there. Okie doke. Who'd have thought it? Right, okay, so you can go in there. And that's it. We need two more people and then all of our dairy faz are all up and running and as effective as they can be. So let's just keep checking. Come on. Just two more people. Manufacturing. Two people that are good at manufacturing. Um, yes and yes. In you come. Oh, now there's oh now there's loads of people. Oh, now there's so many people that can do manufacturing. Typical. Typical game. Right. OK, so that one there. And Ella Reed manufacturing. And I think this is it. Okay, so scroll down a bit. You, yes, manufacturing. And you, manufacturing. And there we go. All of our dairy fares are now fully staffed, working at maximum capacity. This is wonderful. That is very, very good indeed. Okay, right. Very, very happy with all that. I mean, it took a long time. It took an awfully long time to get to that point. But now just think. Think of the amount of cheese we're going to produce over here. The amount of wonderful, wonderful cheeses and butters and things like that. 
It is wonderful. Okay, right. There we go. We got there in the end, everybody. We got there in the end. Apparently, we don't have any silo space left for the Sawyer. Okay, that sounds like it might be a problem. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What's taking up all of the room in here? We have we have an awful lot of corn in there. We have almost 100,000 kilograms of corn. I mean, we could free that up a little bit. We could maybe have slightly less. Um, okay, right, hang on. We have some space over here where we could put a silo. Because again, they share storage, so that's okay. So how about we put ourselves a great big silo over here? Let's have a couple over here, actually. Let's have one and then two next door. So yeah, so there we go. Have neighbouring silos. And then where else could we put a silo? I mean, over there is going to be no use. It's over here, really, where we need all the silo stuff. Um, over here? I mean, that sort of reaches over to there, so we can store all that from a silo. But maybe down here we could put some sort of fields of grain and stuff, and then maybe get a million. Because we did say we were going to get a million, and somebody actually said, you said you were going to get a million in the comments, but no, we haven't got a mill yet, because I'm disorganised and I forget these things. But we could get some more silos in down here as well. So let's just put another silo in maybe not there because if we want that road to continue round that's going to be that's going to be annoying so we'll put it just there there we go right so hopefully when those silos are sorted that should be that should be okay come on build them quick because we can't get anything out of the ground with the soya right now which is unfortunate and there we go just buildy build there we go where's the roof dance there we go roof dance yeah and i think that is sorted yeah there we go so the number of problems have gone down to seven, which is splendid. And a lot of those, I think five of them are going to be, you've not got anybody working in your fruit plants. And then, yes, it's just a case of, um, what's that over there? This field needs, that field needs what exactly? That's the carrots. It needs a plow and a cultivator and a precision cedar. Oh, is it too far away? Oh, it might, ah, it might be too far away from all of the things over there. Oh yeah, that, that could be a problem, couldn't it? It can reach those, Al, but is all our other stuff across the other end? Hang on a minute. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, never mind. Right, we'll have to sort that out then. Hang on a second. I mean, we could... Hang on, what do you need? You needed... So yeah, a plough and a cultivator. I mean, we could... Is there room over there? Yes. We could take a plough from over here and move it over there. That would be fine because we don't need these anymore. So let's take one of the ploughs, repark that, repark that over here. So you should be able to at least have the thing plough. Okay, okay, bro. There's no room in there. It's fine. Right, hang on. What we'll do is, right, we need to sort that out because that field of carrots is being woefully neglected. What we'll do is we will finish up for now because things have gone very well. We have ourselves... A great big massive kind of orchard set up over here. Did they get the things in here eventually? Yes, they did. There we go. The tiny little sort of plum trees are in, which is wonderful. So just, I think just by the skin of our teeth, we have ourselves all of these fields set up with lots of lovely fruit trees and some bonus fields as well down there because, you know, it filled up the space quite nicely. So all these things are now growing lots of lovely fruit, which is very good. And then, yes, at some point, we are going to need to then have ourselves more people working over here we can't really do that right now because we don't have much in the way of staff capacity. But in 39 days, we can have an extra 200 people, which will be marvellous. So, um, so yes, I think we'll finish up for now on a bit of a high, let's be honest, because this, this is going to be very exciting. This is wonderful. All these great big massive orchards. It's just very lovely. And they're all different types, different colours, different types of trees. It's going to look marvellous when they're all sort of fully grown and stuff. So uh, yes, we'll finish up for now with the knowledge that we are going to produce a lot of lovely, healthy fruit for everybody to drink. Yay for health and such like. Many, many of your five a day over here. So uh, we'll finish up, come back next time. We'll sort out the carrot field. And then maybe, maybe we will work on, I don't know, either getting our sort of fruit bit in over here of the fruits on bushes, or maybe... Maybe we could go over to here somewhere and grow lots of things that require, you know, that we can use with a mill. So we can make lots of flour and such like, because that might also be quite fun, because we're not producing flour at all yet either. So, you know, plenty of options for us for next time out. But yes, we shall do those when we pop back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time.
next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 